On what should have been an ordinary flight from Barcelona to London, things took a drastic turn when Gail was mocked by a man because of her black skin. Things quickly got out of hand, holding up the flight. Neither of them knew who the man behind them was. That day, Gail and her daughter Jasmine stood beside each other as they were checked through security. They had their tickets in their hands as their luggage was run through the scanner. The moment they were cleared, they continued on with other passengers toward the plane they were about to board. They had arrived in Barcelona from Jamaica and were now preparing to board a connecting flight to London. Gail was happy because it meant the first half of their trip was over, and they would soon be home in London. She looked forward to being in the comfort of her home again. Going back to their roots had been an emotional trip for both mother and daughter. Gail and Jasmine were given different seats on their flight. Gail's seat was on the aisle while Jasmine was a few seats behind her mother on the other side of the aisle. Neither of them complained about the seating arrangement, knowing that airlines often assign seats differently from what was requested during payment. From her seat, Jasmine could easily see her mother and felt reassured that she could quickly get to her if needed. They slowly climbed the short flight of stairs into the plane and went to their assigned seats. As Gail settled into her seat, she held only her phone and purse, having stowed everything else in her bag in the overhead compartment. Just as she was about to buckle her seatbelt, a shadow fell over her. She looked up to see a man standing beside her with a big frown on his face. He sneered and introduced himself as Eric, informing her that his seat was by the window and that she needed to move to let him through. She agreed at once. She didn't know why he looked at her with such disgust, but she chose not to bother herself about it. She tried to get up from the seat to give him some space. However, it wasn't that easy. Gail had arthritis, so when she tried to get up from the chair to make room for him, the joints in her leg flared up and protested, causing her to fall back down to the seat with a soft cry. Eric's face squeezed into an even bigger frown as he glared at her and ordered her to completely get out of the way. He didn't like standing in the aisle because of an old black woman. Embarrassed, Gail apologized and then tried to get up once more. She grabbed hold of the seat before her with one hand and, holding onto the armrest of her own seat with the other hand, pulled herself up and made way for him to pass. Eric didn't move at once. He sneered at her as he watched her struggle to accommodate him. After what seemed like a lifetime to Gail, Eric made his way through and angrily dropped into his seat. Gail then sat next to him, and that was when trouble began. Eric began spewing derogatory comments. He hated sitting next to a woman of color. He verbally attacked her unprovoked. Gail's only crime was her skin color and Jamaican accent. Eric called Gail a silly thing for having the audacity to keep him waiting. He raised his voice at her, and when she tried to talk back, he raised his voice even higher and told her to shut up. Don't you dare talk to me in that accent, he yelled. By now, the confrontation was beginning to attract the attention of everyone on the plane, including Jasmine. She immediately got out of her seat and hurried over to her mother's side. Eric was still talking with aggression and hate. He wanted Gail to stop talking, or he would make sure she was thrown off the plane. Jasmine angrily told him to keep quiet and stop talking to her mother like that. He had no right to be so mean to people he barely knew just because they were black. This only seemed to infuriate Eric more. He saw that Gail and her daughter had ganged up on him and were trying to intimidate him. He turned to them and told them they were making a mistake, and he would make sure they regretted it. He couldn't stand for two black women talking to him in such a manner. Gail sat in her seat as Jasmine kept exchanging words with Eric. Gail couldn't believe she was going through this after everything she had been through. It reminded her of her early days in London as a young immigrant from Jamaica. Back then, she had been the target of so much hate and aggression. She had lost many friends to trigger happy cops and other people who loved to bully people of color. It was a painful period for her, but she refused to back down. She managed to survive and push through despite all the negativity. She tried to get a job, but that came with its difficulties. But she didn't let it weigh her down. She kept fighting and pushing until she got a job that paid her bills. She worked hard to climb the ranks. Not long after, Gail fell in love with Rich, who was also from Jamaica. She was glad to have someone with the same roots to settle down with. They got married, and their marriage was sweet. They loved each other dearly and always tried their best to make the other happy and comfortable. When the children came, Gail and Rich were forced to take on multiple jobs to make ends meet. It still wasn't easy. As they tried to provide a better standard of living for their children, society seemed bent on making sure it didn't happen. Thankfully, the couple was not deterred. They did everything they had to do and managed to get all their children through college. 
Eventually, the children were brilliant enough to stand on their own. The financial burden was finally off Gail. It was now time for her to retire and relax from all the years of toiling and hustling. This time, the kids were taking care of their parents, happily. They made sure all the bills were paid on time, the groceries were always fully stocked, and the health insurance was fully paid. Due to their busy jobs, the other kids couldn't make regular visits to Gail and Rich, but Jasmine did as often as possible. Every few months, the children would give their parents flight tickets to go on vacations and have a great time. Life was finally smiling on Gail and Rich. They were finally reaping the fruits of their labor and enjoying their old age. Sadly, that was when tragedy struck. Rich fell ill. It had been so sudden that all of them were taken by surprise. They had no idea the sickness had been incubating in his system for years. Rich never went for regular checkups because he'd always been in good health. By the time the symptoms showed, it was already full-blown and too late to make a difference. Gail was distraught. She had no idea what to do as her husband emaciated day after day. He always ran a temperature and nothing the doctors did seemed to work. In the end, barely a month after he was hospitalized, he succumbed to the cold hands of death. Rich's death completely shook Gail. Nothing remained the same for her. She couldn't stay alone in the house all day, nor could she go out because everything reminded her of Rich. For a long time, she could barely get herself in order. She remained in one spot in the house, always looking out the windows. She only ate when she felt faint. Life had lost its meaning to her. At this point, Jasmine and her siblings realized that if care wasn't taken, they would lose their mom as well, and that was something they couldn't permit. They started paying regular visits and took her to Jasmine's home so she would never be alone again. By the time Rich's death had clocked a year, Jasmine decided to take Gail to Jamaica for the remembrance. Knowing that both Gail and Rich were from Jamaica, Jasmine believed the trip would aid her mother in the healing process. She was right. The entire trip was spent with Gail's paternal relatives who also experienced the loss of Rich. Being surrounded by family who shared their grief made it easier for Gail to handle. It was a beautiful period filled with laughter, warmth, and healing. Gail even regretted not coming home sooner. She promised to start visiting regularly. Not long after, they planned their return to London, first with the flight to Barcelona and then the connecting one to London. The flight to Barcelona had been hitch-free. However, during the flight to London, everything that could go wrong did, all thanks to Eric. As they kept exchanging words on the plane, other passengers were infuriated by the sight. They cautioned Eric to stop, but he refused. He insisted he didn't want Gail near him and demanded she be moved to another seat or thrown off the plane. The flight attendant's presence did nothing to calm him down. Instead, it seemed every attempt to quiet him only made him angrier. All around them, other passengers took out their phones and recorded the whole thing. But Eric was unbothered. He told Gail that if she chose to be obstinate and refused to move, he would push her out. Gail and Jasmine told him to try it, and that the moment he laid his hands on either of them, he would regret it. Eric became more infuriated, so angry that his skin became flushed. He called Gail an ugly old cow and was about to get to his feet when a man in the seat behind suddenly thundered, STOP! The man introduced himself as David and warned Eric that he would do something Eric would regret for the rest of his life if he didn't stop. Eric glanced at him in anger and told him to mind his business. David told Eric they were yet to begin the flight because of him, and he was ruining the trip for everyone. Eric ignored him and got to his feet, ready to carry out his threat on Gale. However, as he leaned toward the old woman, David leapt over the seat and tackled Eric by throwing his entire weight against him. Both of them crashed against the back of another chair. As they tumbled, Gail got up from her seat to avoid them hitting her. Jasmine immediately pulled her away as they fell to the floor and rolled once, with David landing on top. Eric screamed at the man, asking to be released. The man pinned him to the floor. By this time, the plane was getting rowdy and the crowd was becoming more uncontrollable. The flight attendant needed to put a stop to everything once and for all. They had already wasted enough time. Sadly, the attendant handled it all wrong. He took Gail and Jasmine to another seat and returned Eric to his original seat. This annoyed the passengers because it seemed like Gail and her daughter were being punished for something that was entirely Eric's fault. However, none of them said anything because they just wanted the trip to continue. Barely hours after the flight landed in London, a video of the entire incident was posted on Facebook and within hours it went viral. David, the passenger who tackled Eric, was the one who posted the video online. None of them had known, but he was an influencer with a large following across various platforms. 
When posting the video, he talked about how rude and racist Eric had been and how terribly the airline handled the situation. He said they were incompetent and unprofessional and just didn't care. As the video went viral, everyone began calling out the airline, saying they were boycotting them across all platforms and asking why they allowed their customers to be treated so poorly. After all, everyone had paid the same fee. When the heat became too much, the airline issued a press release stating they were working with the authorities and that Eric had been handed over to the police. However, the damage was done. It was clear the airline was simply doing damage control, and not many people took them seriously. People swore to stay away from the airline because it was clear they would not be safe there. About a month after their return, Gail and Jasmine sued Eric in court. He hired lawyers, but none could help him. The videos online served as damning evidence against him. At first, he tried to lie, saying Gail and her daughter provoked him, hoping to turn the case in his favor. However, Gail and her daughter weren't alone. Other passengers on the flight turned up as witnesses and testified against Eric. Thanks to the viral videos, everyone followed the case, and it seemed the entire country was against Eric. All eyes were on the court for a just ruling. In the end, Eric was fined heavily. He had to pay a substantial sum to Gail and a separate sum to Jasmine because he had insulted both of them. The fine was so steep that it almost rendered him broke. The money he gave the mother and daughter wasn't all they received. In a bid to save face, the airline decided to give Gail and Jasmine free tickets for an entire year. As long as it was within the airline's localities, the two would get it free. They revealed this in a press conference and apologized openly to Gail and Jasmine for mishandling the case. Meanwhile, things were not looking good for Eric. The airline banned him for life. Sadly for him, this wasn't the worst. He became infamous in London, with his story spreading across local TV stations and online blogs. Everyone knew his face and soon people tracked down his workplace and protested his employment. They boycotted the company online and offline until they were forced to let him go. After Eric got fired, nothing seemed to work for him anymore. He became so toxic that employers wouldn't touch him with a 10-foot pole. He couldn't step too far out of his house. Terrified people would recognize him. Without a job and money, he took loans to pay his bills and survive, plunging into deep debt. The life he knew before boarding that flight from Barcelona was gone, and his future looked bleak and empty. He realized then what he had done to himself, choosing to judge people based on the color of their skin. He believed he was of the superior race and had the right to do and say whatever he wanted. That belief ruined his life. Now he wished he could turn back time and take everything back he said to Jasmine and Gail. Meanwhile, Gail and Jasmine continued living together. Everything that happened made them appreciate life even more. Gail finally put the pain of losing Rich behind her, knowing it was what her dear husband would have wanted. Together, mother and daughter lived happily ever after. What a touching story. Who knew Eric would get what he deserved in the end? What would you have done in Gail's shoes? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. See you in the next video.